In 2020, African Health Startups raised a total of $141 million in 52 deals. Now that's according to French investor Patek. From making doctor's appointments easier to paying for telemedicine to online consultations and delivering medicine. Here are 10 major health tech startups who are determined to revolutionize the healthcare sector in Africa. But before we get started, let me welcome you to another fabulous edition of your weekly tech videos about tech happenings in and around Africa. Now on this week, I'll be giving you a list of top 10 health technology startups in Africa. Now the number one startups on my list for today is Ilium Health. Now Ilium Health was founded in 2016 by a Nigerian named Adegoki Odubisi and then with other co-founders like Dimeji Shofora and Tito Ovia. Now the startup is currently West Africa's leading provider of electronic medical records EMR and hospital management information systems. Ilam Health has presence in Nigeria, Ghana, Senegal, Liberia, Kenya and Uganda. And it is now and it now has about 500 healthcare facilities, over 7000 medical experts currently treating over 300,000 patients regularly. Now, Elam Health has raised a total of $12.2 million in investment so far. Now, the next startup on my list is M Pharma. M Pharma was created in 2013 by Ghanaian businessman Gregory Robson, who is now busy laying the framework to become the leading electronic prescription platform in emerging markets with a particular concentration on Africa. M Pharma interacts with prominent pharmaceutical companies, insurance firms, banking institutions, and governments in Nigeria, Ghana, and Zambia to supply pharmaceuticals directly to clients. With more than 30 hospitals, M Pharma has provided over 1 million prescription medicines to over 20,000 individuals at a 30% discount to market retail rates. Now, you should know that M Pharma has raised a $17 million Series C financing even during the pandemic last year. Now, the next startup on my list is 54Gene. 54Gene is an African testing and molecular diagnostics company founded in January 2019 by Abasi Obong, who is also the CEO, and Damilola Oni. Datumi Aliu and Ogochuku Francis. The firm is actively on the establishment and maintenance of an African biobank. Now, in September, it secured a $25 million Series B investment. Now, you should know that 54 Gene presently has a total investment of more than $45 million in less than two years of operation. And the next startup on my list of the top 10 health technology startups in Africa is Drugstock. Now, about 100,000 people die in Africa yearly as a result of counterfeit and poor medication due to unpredictable supply systems. And this is why Drugstock was established to address this particular issue. Now, it was founded by Chibuzo Opara and Adam Yehia, who launched Drugstock in 2015. The startup is transforming how healthcare professionals interact with the pharmaceutical industry. Drugstock leverages outstanding technology, supply chain innovation, financing solutions, and product expertise to help emerging markets get access to drugs. Now, the next startups on my list of the top 10 health technology startups in Africa is, is called Checkit. Checkit is a Nigerian firm with, a, with an African emphasis to address counterfeit drugs 
with its tracking and surveillance system. It was founded by Dari Odumade and Jida Asari to assure product integrity along the value chain. Now, the business claims that via collaborations with major pharmaceutical companies, it has obtained over 7 million pharmaceutical goods, safeguarding over 200,000 customers from the hazards of consuming counterfeit pharmaceuticals. The firm has secured a 500,000 pre-seed round in August 2021 to directly protect up to 100 million lives worldwide. Now, on my next uh, startups is called Edge Tracker. Now, Edge Tracker enables consumers to schedule health screening tests from the convenience of their homes and of course receive test results through email within one to three days. Now the Earth Startup was founded by Ifeoluwa Danry Johnson and entered the Techstars Toronto Accelerator Program in 2021. Now in December 2021 also, it's partnered with Flurry, a United States-based insotex company that allows immigrants to provide health care to relatives back home. Now, the next startup that I will be giving you to for today is called Nguvu Health. Now, now the health tech startup was founded by Joshua Koya, who is also the CEO, and Tolu Lope Ogunju Yigbe. Now, the startup aims to recruit 1,000 therapies from Africa by the end of 2021. The firm which starts itself as an e-mental health company is now attempting to provide on-demand virtual counseling services to Africans situated anywhere in the world. Now, Nguvu Health was accepted into the Google for Startups Accelerator program in 2021. And we also, from Turkey Byte, we expect good things in the future from this particular startup. And the next startup that I'll be recommending for you today is Recommed. Now, Recommed is a platform that connects patients with healthcare experts, especially in South Africa. Now, patients can use the app or the website to search for and explore practitioner profiles, read reviews, and then book a real or virtual session. Now, recommend us over 2,200 contracted healthcare practitioners and over 1 million monthly users on its platform. Now, the next startup on my list is Jerocare. Now, Jerocare was founded by o- a B Ofri, who is also the CEO of the plat- of the startup, and of course Ajibola Miribu, who is the C- COO, and then we have Bruce Lucas, who is the CTO of the platform, which was launched in 2017. Now the firm provides numerous options ranging from 30,000 naira for three quarterly medical appointments to 100,000 naira for 12 annual doctor visits. Now, Jerocare is devoted to providing high quality, affordable care to older adults in Nigeria. Now, the startup is especially beneficial to those who live away from senior family members but want to ensure that they receive regular medical care. The startup was selected into the Google for Startups Accelerator Program, the 2021 batch. Now, the next startup on my list today is Waspital. Now, Waspital was launched in April 2020 by Gene Loeb as a platform that integrates a variety of services from telemedicines to drug delivery, as well as discussion forums in which practitioners offer advice to consumers. Now, it is a prevent preventative rather than curative health platform. WASP2 began in Cameroon where it has where it has amassed about 30,000 subscribers to its platform and then the startup aims 
to spread across Africa and engage people in the discourse about advancing cheap, accessible and high quality healthcare throughout the African continent. And there you have it for this week and thank you so much for watching and I hope you learned one or two things on this particular episode. Now, till next time that you catch me on this space, don't forget to always visit our website on www.thetechbytes.com. You can also subscribe to this channel to get early notice of our next video on this platform. Thank you. Thank you for watching.